how it's in crown how on a day waiting they happen waiting this up i know it's been a while okay ah uh, you guys will have to forgive me you know <laughs> you will just have to forgive me okay and now i want to okay let me put it this way special thanks to those that reach out while i was away shout out to you shout out to you okay <laughs> So I'm going to mix this video that you're about to watch. I'm going to mix it with old news and new stuff out there. Okay. New stories out there. All right. So you might stumble on the story that you've seen before or whatever, which is really not the reason why you are here watching me. Most of you are here just to watch my reaction on the stories that you've seen before. That's why most of you are here. Why some people are just seeing the story for the first time. Well, yeah, that is it. First, we're going to start off by talking about the Super Eagles match um, against um, South Africa. Uh, no, 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 no. Let me welcome you to my channel. I'm sorry for the bad manners, guys. Welcome to my channel. Okay, guys, um, let us start off. Let's take it back again. <laughs> Let's start off by talking about the Super Eagles versus South Africa. I watched the match. South Africa put in their A game, but it wasn't enough. You know, they have more ball possession than us, I think. You know, they did great, but our defense was very tight and stuff like that. But again, there was some lagging in front. Our forward is quite bad um, as well. Yeah. Um, I'm so happy to announce that we are moving on to the next round, which is the semi-finals. Congratulations to Nigeria. Uh, we await the winner between Algeria and Ivory Coast. Whoever wins um, faces Super Eagles team. Now, Mikel Ubi confirms that this tournament, okay, the African Cup of Nations is his last tournament. Mikel Ubi, congratulations. My guy, you don't try. It's no easy. Trust me, it's not that easy. I know some people are like, you know, we don't need you, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But this guy, Mikel Obi, is, you know, we need an experience. And he's there available for those guys to move on. And most of these guys respect him. So it's more like a motivation. Whether you say we don't need him or not, we need a motivation on that field. Okay, let us move on to the next one. Here we have politics. Tunumbu dissociate himself from the ongoing campaign you know the campaign that tinumbu will be running for president in 2023 he has dissociated, dissociated himself from that campaign saying he knows nothing about it now who knows tinumbu might just be deceiving us because those people they know what they are doing politicians we all the politicians especially in nigeria they are not to be trusted let us move on to the entertainment news proper okay um here we have cora obd cora obd who's currently in us finally give birth the popular dancer on instagram congratulations to cora obd um yeah shout out to you and your husband congratulations to your family um zlatan just the next news okay zlatan just released this picture okay from a footage now upcoming video okay with tiwa savage so we can't wait for the video i mean tiwa savage and zlatan ibile in same video i mean I, I i'm just gonna keep my fingers crossed okay you know um the next one we have here some of you must have seen this online it's about ricardo banks okay um according to report ricardo banks was embarrassed on live tv but it turns out to be a prank well the first time it came on social media it was only 30 seconds or some minutes of the video but it was actually a prank if you watch the full video but um this guy seemed not cool with it at all the first time i saw the video i was like wait you know it was some seconds um yeah the first video so i was like wait why would they still release this thing on social media i mean the, the tv station why would they still release it on, on social media but it turns out like i said to be a prank and i wasn't really surprised at all so my name is Cindy. okay where are you calling from good afternoon good afternoon where are you calling Hi, from Cindy. i'm calling from lucky Okay, Hi. tell us what's up. Kilo Shelley. Can I so can I speak with Ricardo Bank? He's yeah, yours. I can, can hear, you. hear you. I'm here. I'm, I'm with you. <laughs> so the unfortunate thing is that wow. now you're on a live TV and then I can call him. Okay. Okay. 
kayaknya nih Ricardo Banks. Iya. Yeah. So you had sex with me and then you not call me back. Eh? Yeah. Probably a wrong number. This is a wrong number? Yes, oh, I think she no, has a wrong number. No, it's not a wrong number. Everybody knows Ricardo Banks. Please, let me just finish this. I've been sending him a message. Hi. It's only right. You are human. Hi. Good afternoon. So it's Teddy again, and then. Are you a friend or foe? Hello. Are you a friend or foe? Who? <laughs> Hello. Go on. We Hello? can hear you. Please. See, Ricardo Banks, the only way I will stop disturbing you is if you tell me that you love me back. Because uh, I said that to you after sex. Oh yeah, I love you too now. Oh yeah, I love you too now. Uh-uh. Don't vex. Hello? I love you too. What's your name? What's your yes. name? Cindy? Cindy! That's fine. Please take your Instagram. It's really not nice. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> See, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot be, I cannot. Oi, 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 guess who said I'm too aware? Guess who said you wasn't aware? Oh, I was that, I was that, I was that, I was that. But Ricardo Banks actually reacted to that saying it is truly a problem when a media platform begins to pursue shock value at the expense of an artist image. So that was a prank call on a TV show. It was funny then, but I do not like where this is headed. So that is Ricardo Banks right there. Well, guys, here we have the top five influential female artists um, of 2019. Now, this thing was gotten from this website's top 50 charts okay that's the name of the website top50charts.com now i'm kind of surprised because let me hold it there okay let me hold it there let me just list the top five females okay first they have tenny okay and second is asha third is niniola simi fourth yemi alade um fifth and tiwa savage was nowhere to be found influential female artist in nigeria and i'm like where is tiwa savage you know whoever put up this post might not just be a fan of tiwa savage because i mean tiwa savage should be on that list well moving on to the next one now this news has been out for quite some time okay some of you must have heard picasso leaving olamide's record label all right now someone sent me a message okay saying that you know what now picasso has left olamide's record label and i'm like okay <laughs> i think this is getting this is getting worse like every day now after that i check online and i saw comments okay most of the comments were olamide you know killing this guy's career first thing we should be talking about is whether so, some of these guys are they signed on to officially signed on to ybnl that should be our question because some of them only claim to be signed to ybnl but they are not officially signed to ybnl they're just taking advantage of the platform so all these artists leaving i'm not really surprised as long as they are not officially signed on to ybnl you can't see olamide is killing their career I, I don't know but i just feel like if you are you know just using the platform i mean you can go anytime you're not signed on on that is record label so the record label you can't have the same privilege as the artist that is officially signed onto the record label i really don't know about picasso's deal with olamide but olamide usually have one year deal with his artist the artist that he officially signed onto his record label just want to put that out there okay guys moving on to the next news here we have Idika Bass and also for some of you that don't know this guy is a popular record label owner okay he has this code he has a record label called coded tunes okay which gave birth to um, the likes of nice or lamy day you know but he's a low-key guy that's why some of you don't know him he's a kind of a low-key guy so um i watched his interview he talked about the new song totori you know him or Lamy Day and Whiskey. He talked about Whiskey. The only the part, you know, about Whiskey got out there. But you know, the interview have something that's more important than that. It's what's are still fresh, you know, in this video, even when I watched it this morning. This video has been out for a while. But yeah, the part that the media didn't really talk about is where, you know, I want to 
you know, talk about I respect Adika Basa so much. And um, he talked about seeking fame and acceptance. You know, he also, you know, talked about truth, you know, in your content and building disciples instead of just fans who leaves you when you stop getting attention. Okay, for me, what has worked is the fact that I understand traction. Traction in terms of, traction is a combination of uh, content which is more like acceptance yeah. and popularity. Mm -hmm. If what you seek is popularity, is good, you will get it. But popularity, I can assure you, can be frustrating. Wow. But it's good. Okay. You need popularity for people to listen to you. But that part of acceptance, which comes from your content, the truth in your content. Fella had died mm. over 20 something years now, but we still talk about Fella's songs. There are songs that you listen to over and that, those are the things that actually give you acceptance. When you have acceptance, you don't have only fans, you have disciples. In fact, when you lose it, they still stick to you. But if all you do is to seek popularity, the normal way your fan at home will blow you. They will blow you. <laughs> and when the light goes off, they will, they will stop blowing you. Wow. wow. Okay, guys, moving on to the next one. Here we have Kemi Olun Lawyer. Okay, you guys know after B Busola came out, you know, to give her own story about the Koza pastor, you guys know what happened, anyways. You know, a lady also came out after that, but her face wasn't revealed. Okay, of course, the concealed face have been unveiled by the one, the only <laughs> Kemi Omolulu Olun Lawyer. <laughs> Kemi Loon lawyer okay exposed the the lady and he, he said she said a lot of things he said she was a worker in the church and blah 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 and all that and apart from that you know Kemi Loon lawyer has been on Busola's neck even before now you know saying that Busola lied about the whole thing against the pastor that nothing as such ever happened between both of them but people are saying right now okay there have been rumors out there that Kemi Loon Lawyer is likely on Koza payroll. That was what they said, okay, according to a report. So they said the pastor is actually, you know, giving out money to people to stand for him, you know, on social media, but especially social media influencers. Let, let us quickly talk about Big Low, okay? Big Low is down, okay? He's down with kidney failure. He's begging for support. Um, now, for those of you that don't know, Big Low is a, a rapper, you know, a veteran rapper. He has been, you know, um, in the game for a while. Um, he's the one that sang the Very Delicious and, you know, other, other songs. And now it's shocking to see Big Low, you know, down with the ailment, you know, kidney problem and asking for funds to help treat himself. Hello, this is Lutana Dizwe and this is my story. Last year, July, I was diagnosed with renal, end-stage renal disease and my kidneys are currently functioning at 9%. As a result, in January, I was placed on dialysis. I have to do dialysis three times a week. It's been very hard for me. I've been in and out of hospital so many times. I've had three surgeries so far. I have another one. And it's my life has just turned upside down. I lost my job. I lost my car. I lost my house. I'm currently in a nursing home where I have to be on oxygen 24-7. Please, this is an appeal to my family and my friends to please help me. Please. I'm appealing for donations from everyone, from loved ones, from friends. Please. I need money to pay my medical bills. There's so much. I've had so many surgeries. I also need money to see if I can travel to India to kickstart a kidney transplant process. Please, if you can follow the details in the post for that bank account and all that. Thank you. Any small, any amount of money is appreciated. Thank you very much. I love you all. Thank you. 
not only um, this guy, we also have a lot of Ajasa back then. A lot of Ajasa is feeling fine now, but back then seeking for help, he then he needed funds to undergo peptic ulcer operation, which he, which he finally did. Now, I want to say this. I know this is going to offend some people, but I'm still going to say it anyway. Even though I always try to address the bad structure in the entertainment industry and how the veterans have to suffer or um, entertainers are to go through when they are getting old because of lack of royalties okay from their previous work i've always talked about that because i mean this some of them have evergreen song but because of the structure the bad structure they are not getting royalties from their you know song or from their from their work now this guy is of course a victim of the the bad structure in Nigeria, we just put it that way. Not only many, many of uh, you know many of them. Why have always supported you know that we, we must also be cognizant of the effect of our lifestyle. All right, most especially what we drink. If you've noticed, booze is very popular among these entertainers. Booze, you know, is very popular. It is their way of having fun. In fact, some people even believe that being in the industry is a freedom to drink, to stupor, do whatever you like, drink, you know, smoke, and do whatever you like. That 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 is just a freedom to do that. That narrative, okay, must be changed. You are in the industry doesn't mean you have to drink and smoke to have fun, or you have to drink, you know, heavily to have fun. I mean, what what happened to drink responsibly? What happened to that? Or smoke responsibly? Or occasionally? What happened to that? My own is if you don't have money for hospital or you don't have insurance, please drink occasionally or don't even drink at all because your kidney is what you are playing with. You are playing with your kidney or liver. Now, I don't know what caused Biglow's illness, but this kidney problem or this kidney issue is very common among entertainers and, and most of the sufferers are known as heavy, heavy smokers or heavy drinkers. So be careful out there, guys. You know, I just want to put that out there. Okay, guys, moving on to the next news. Here we have Simply Tatcha. You know when I mentioned Simply Tatcha, I'm talking about the BB9 Jazz. Simply Tatcha is part of the housemate. By the way, guys, um, just check out this picture of Tatcha. Like, it's a throwback picture. It's, you know, when I saw it, I was kind of shocked, but it's growth anyways. Well, some people said it's cream. <laughs> you know, she was bashed on social media. But yeah, um, I just want to show you that. That's that's not the, the, the point here. Yeah. okay she's up for eviction okay simply touch her and she's not even scared at all okay she, she even said that it's because she's the strongest that's why she's up for eviction and that is not the only thing she said that on the 99th day that's the last day not in this world okay <laughs> on bb9 jashu okay that she will be on that stage which means she will be part of the finalist that's what she's trying to say guys let's watch this video and this whole tax thing is not even my problem i know on the 99th day on that stage i'm going to be there so it's like everybody should just be guided okay. if we're going to have a rule listen if we're going to have a rule if one person is like i want to say something you come and say what say what you want to say I cannot move forward and I'm fine with us moving backward because I did it in the 99th day, I know that one. Simply Tasha is so confident about herself. Now, Avala and Isi Lomo has been evicted. Both of these people have been evicted now so early in the show and they're already evicted. I don't know. I check out, I think it's Isi Lomo's um, followers on Instagram and she has like, I think 24,000 followers. Like, they didn't even wait for those people to garner like, you know, so much fan base before they did what they did. But anyways, you know, there have been rumors out there that those people that hustle to go or struggle, you know, during the audition were not picked. Well, Isi Lomo was in an interview and she said she went through the same process as everybody. Forget that they have, most of them have accent. Because we have to bury that girl. A lot of people think that maybe people came through the, the back door. But I mean, I, I would like to think that at least all of you went through the rigors. Yeah, absolutely. Oh we goodness. all were put, yeah. in, we're all put through the ring. Some people actually remember seeing me standing in the hot sun yeah. with them. Yeah, so. some people had sent me videos as yeah. well of yeah. during the, when they saw me during the audition. So mm -hmm. I don't, nobody 
had a backdoor pass. We yeah. all had to go through the same process. Where the rumor was that all the people came from London, <laughs> from America, you know, all these. It was, it was, it, was it Big Brother Nigeria International? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was, no, we all in Nigeria. <laughs> Oh yeah. Right. So what 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 what's it been like? You were there. I mean, you were there for a week. Um, mm -hmm. What what did you enjoy the most? What did you like? What did you enjoy the most for that week? Um, I guess it was just getting to know all the people. Okay, moving on to the next news. This is very very funny. Okay, Tenny explained her experience two years ago at Fela's shrine. You're not gonna believe this guy. It's very funny. Let's watch. Two years ago, I had an experience at the shrine. Shall I tell you? <laughs> I'll tell you. Don't tell anybody you. So two years ago, I came for fire operation, and I had to use the toilet so bad. But I knew that I couldn't use the toilet, so I never took a shit in one gutter like this. Wow. I told him as I was shitting, one guy was shitting by my side. So we were having a shitting bonding. You get me? And it's just funny how now I'm here headlining my own show. Okay, guys, that is where I'm going to hold it. Guys, let me know what you think about everything that i've said in the comment section below thank you so much guys and until we see you next time peace